Hi, I'm Ian Anderson, an Apple Certified Trainer. Welcome to this tutorial on the brand new version of CoreMelt's Slice X, with the Mockup Planar Tracker built in. This plugin lets you select an object on screen once, then track it automatically throughout a clip. Applications include blurring a sign as it moves, changing the colour of a moving object, performing advanced keying operations without a green screen, removing someone as they pass by, or even relighting a moving face. Full manual control is also available, so you can correct any problems and retrack from that point if desired. Let's take a look at how to use it. We'll track this shoe and change its colour with the colour correct shape mask effect. Apply the effect, then just trace around it with the freeform shape tool or Bezier tool and choose this button to track forward. You can see the track update as the movie plays, allowing you to stop the tracking with this button here if you can see it going off course. Tracking is usually pretty quick, though for longer clips or more complex shapes it will take longer. Certainly though, tracking with Mocha is much faster than doing the same tracking job by hand. All we need to do is adjust the settings to change the colour, and we're done. It's a similar story when we trace around these lips. Here, we'll zoom in and use the Bezier tool to outline the lips, and then track forward from the start of the clip. In this case, we can see that the rotation of her head has confused the tracker slightly. Conveniently, shape keyframing was automatically activated when tracking was started. So we stop, move back to where the track was lost, move the points back into position, then track forward again, and repeat if necessary. Change the colour as before, and the track is now good throughout the shot. If you were to extend the shot by trimming it or adding a transition, you'll need to track that new section as well. Tracking requires high quality media, so be sure to use original or optimised media, not proxies. Make sure you leave background rendering off while using Slice X. After rendering manually with Ctrl R, the track shape disappears so you can see the results better. Press this Re-enable Editing button if you want to edit the shape and or track again. Also note that the built-in stabiliser won't work with Slice X, so if you need to stabilise your footage, process, export and re-import your footage before tracking it. These two tracking examples were shown in real time on a 2009 Mac Pro, but we'll speed up all the following examples to save time. To remove this person from this shot is quick and easy. Apply the Object Remover effect, then use the Free Form Shape tool, trace roughly around him, then adjust the settings to uh, copy the video from a nearby area. Track forward, and you're done. Similarly, this sign is easy to blur out, even though it's right at the edge of the shot. Using the Polygon Shape tool, just draw a box roughly where the sign would be, then track. Adjust the settings and you can play the clip through. This complex pan could be improved by slightly blurring the foreground. We'll add the Depth of Field Shape Mask filter, then zoom right out. By adding a shape with many points, but it's not quite accurate, we can track forward, deactivate keyframing, and then readjust the shape as the pan moves across. This is an easy way to deal with large-scale pans and tilts. This person's face is a little dark, and we can follow them with a virtual light quite easily. In the middle of the shot, select their face quite roughly with the Freeform Shape tool. Track forward, then return to where we started, and track backwards. 
Now that the track is complete, we'll boost gamma and brightness with a soft mask and perhaps add a little contrast. This can be a great way to rescue a dark shot. To use one of the regular Cormelt Complete effects, duplicate your layer above the original by option dragging the clip upwards. Then apply the Shape Mask Layer effect to it. Trace around the shape that you want the effect to apply to, then track forward to isolate a single object on the top clip. Now apply the effect you want to that top clip. Here I've applied Chromatic Glow. Even complex shapes like this flower are no problem. Using the Shape Mask Layer effect with the Freeform Shape tool, just draw around your object. This flower is blowing in the breeze, but we can still track it. The shape is quite complex and tracking will take a little while, but it's quite successful. This can be like keying without a green screen. By now, you can see that the new Mocha tracking engine in Slice X lets you tackle complex rotoscoping tasks which were difficult or impossible before. It also lets you stay inside Final Cut Pro 10 on your own Mac rather than relying on external applications or post facilities. You can change colour, relight, blur, isolate or remove an object as it moves in a locked off shot or as it stays still in a handheld or moving shot. There's also help available if you need it. There's a free trial available now and an upgrade is available for existing users of SliceX. Grab it now from coremelt.com. Thanks for watching.